Hello and welcome back to Halo Cannon. Let's start with a quick update and an explanation. Yes, this is not the video I promised a couple weeks ago, but there's a good reason for that. As it stands, my Forerunner timeline is about six pages long. For reference, the Reach timeline was about four. The Forerunner script isn't even done in six pages, so it'll likely turn into a 30 minute video, my longest yet. Anyway, that's that. Today, let's talk about some Halo news, as I haven't done that in a while and I feel it's been a little too long. For anyone who's been keeping an eye on Halo Waypoint, you might have heard about the final Kilo 5 book finally being announced. If you haven't, link in the description. The book, titled Mortal Dictata, has been announced for January of 2014, though no real details have been given just yet. However, the title does give us some hints as to what the plot could be. The title of the book is a reference to UN Colonial Mortal Dictata, a UNSC law. First mentioned in Dr. Halsey's personal journal, what little is known about this law is that it outlaws the cloning of full humans, something Dr. Halsey has violated on at least two occasions. I have to say, when the title was announced, I and many other fans were worried that the book would be nothing more than another 400 page Halsey is Evil campaign. This could turn out to be wrong, and I hope for the sake of 343 and Halo that it is. I think I've mentioned that I love Karen Travis's work, especially her Gears of Wars novels. She also wrote a short story for Halo Evolutions titled Human Weakness. It was very well received, though full of canon errors itself, and shows that Travis can write a good story. I want to hope that this last book could save the trilogy or at least redeem Travis in 343, but the evidence is not good. Moving back to the name of the book, Mortal Dictata holds a lot of possibilities. Well, obviously, we had hopefully finished with the Venezia story arc, it also seems possible that we could get some more background on Naomi and where she was during the Human Covenant War, as her whole existence raises a few questions concerning the canon. As for the Sanghili Civil War, I hope this gets resolved nice and quick. Previous books have featured too much jumping around to different stories and characters. Now, this is a common thing in Travis' books and often serves a purpose, but it feels very forced in her Halo books. Finally, what I hope to see in this book is a good span of time. I want this book to cover the time between 2553 and 2557. I want to see the new Covenant led by Jul Umdama. I want to see the Covenant Loyalists. I want to see Saren Osman take control of Oni. I want to see human exploration of Installation 03 and discovering the Composer, and hopefully get an explanation for why it's there. I want to see the discovery of the Born Stellar Relation on Travelion, the fictional source of Halo Cryptum. Most of all, I want to see stuff happen. I want a meaningful story that has real impact on the Halo universe, and above all, this is what Kill 5 has been lacking. Yeah, we see the impact of certain decisions in these books and later media, such as Jules Covenant, but we never really see it in the books. Think back to older Halo books, where the same book would have actions and story-relevant consequences. This, above all else, is what I want to see from Mortal Dictata. Finally, let's talk about the Covenant. There's not really much to talk about, it's a little girl looking at a Spartan helmet. Personally, the way I see it is the little girl is a six-year-old Naomi before being kidnapped. The helmet is most likely her Mark 7 Mjolnir helmet. Again, for some reason, it looks like Mark 5, I don't know. It's a little bit of symbolism, you know. Little girl, growing up to be a Spartan, just kind of past and future right there. Nothing really relevant to what we're going to see in the story. But just hints that we're going to get a better look at Naomi. Well, that's about all I can ramble on about for now. Be sure to keep an eye on the San Diego Comic Con this year, as it will have its usual Halo Universe panel. We are slated to hear about Spartan Ops at this panel, and hopefully we'll hear some details about Mortal Dictata. If you're going, I have to say I'm envious. For everyone else, the panels are usually posted within a couple of weeks of the event. Otherwise, keep an eye on the Halo forums as someone is bound to talk about what gets discussed. Until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. See you around.